Okay, here is the initial power up of the IR differential distance sensor uh, designed by another fella. And I'm prototyping it and cloning it just to check it out. It sounds interesting. Uh, solid state uh, device being used to measure the distance from the nozzle instead of the fun limit switches. So on this schematic I've substituted the resistor labeled designated R3 that was 130 ohms for a 500 ohm uh, 10 turn pot just so I could tweak the current on D2 since D1 and D2 the GL480 IR emitters are obsolete and I substituted another part with the same angle and current etc and I figured I better do that. Um, you're adjusting that resistor different than the other one so that the light's got to travel further on one and the other. And we powered it up in uh, the programming with the AVR under $30 development board I got and downloading the studio, uh, AVR studio, I think it's 6.2 software. I had to make up a patch cable um, because it uh, it didn't jive with the 6-pin ICSP programming header. I had to switch some wires around and make work with a 10. So I spent a day and I never used the uh, that development board or an AVR for that matter. So I got the tiny chip program and I put it together. I have on the right side of that board, you can't see it's blocked by a piece of white cardboard, is the two IR emitters and underneath that's a little black uh, photo transistor and IR receiver. If I take that cardboard away, that little red LED on the left is lit and that is uh, should go out whenever you're in what they call what I'm calling the sweet spot. So here's the bed uh, moving forward toward the reflectors and goes out right there. And then as I get closer, it goes back on again. So right there is where I believe when you connect your Arduino board under the ramps or on the ramps board actually I bet is you are going to um, tie into the optical input and uh, this only has one output and has five volts feeding it from the ramp board so what I want to find out is since I am really shitty with code what I want to find out is that output is in an analog output or is it a pulse width modulate output and the software the code is counting pulses my guess is uh, the number he's saying 562 is a sweet spot maybe 0.562 volts and the 1000 might be you're too close and 400 and some might be 400 millivolts 0.4 volts which might mean you're getting too far away, speculation, don't know, but I will continue troubleshooting this. I expected to have this done Saturday, but we got doing brakes on our truck and calibers and the rest of that crap. So, anyways, it's looking good so far. Um, you'll notice if I pull this piece of cardboard out of here, um, I would have thought the light would have went out, so there you go. Uh, last time I did that, when I two minutes ago, um, it was there was a lot of light reflecting from the emitters to the receiver without that blockage in there. And the fellow that designed it said that that large electrolytic cap in the center had two purposes. One was, of course, your filtering of your part for your power supply, especially long leads. And the second reason is it's a mechanical block. Of the IR to separate that from a, from stray going over and giving you a trigger and all the time, which I had, uh, but anyways, we'll see where it goes from here. Thanks. Bye.